There's a good side and a bad side to starting a garden. First, the pros. Number one, selection. Squash blossoms for stuffing, green tomatoes for frying, and herb flowers for garnishing are just three examples of hyper-seasonal, non-shelf-stable ingredients that you can keep in stock out back while grocery stores can't manage to carry them. Number two, seasonality. Growing food teaches you what's in season and when. This kind of understanding might prevent you from ruining your otherwise great leftover Thanksgiving turkey sandwich with mealy, out-of-season summer tomatoes. Or maybe you decide to say seasons be damned and grow food indoors, enabling you to pair hydroponic winter kale with spring sweet peas in some kind of seasonal franken salad that could turn out to be the vegetarian version of surf and turf. Number three, appreciation. I bet that you think that the nerds on TV who say shit like, wow, that is such a beautiful cucumber, are lauding the cuke for more nefarious reasons. But when you really learn to appreciate the beauty in homegrown food, you end up becoming one of those weirdos. And in the end, isn't finding enjoyment in the little things what makes for a happier life? Plus, once you appreciate how much work goes into food production, you really start to grow intolerant towards waste. Number four, reduction of waste. Resources get wasted when a farmer ships a jalapeno to Kroger's in a diesel truck. Even more so when you go pick it up, throw it in your fridge for a week and let it go wrinkly before tossing it. Gardens let you keep a hefty amount of food alive until you need it instead of trying to preserve it after death. Not to mention the inevitable adoption of composting and home preservation that comes with it. Number five, price. Basil costs $70 a pound when you buy it in half ounce clamshells. This whole garden stemmed from me being tired of spending so much on herbs for my weekly pizza. Now I've got more than I could ever need from a $2 packet of seeds. Okay, how about the cons? Number one, price. If you walk into Home Depot and buy a prefab self-watering planter, high-end soil, and seedlings, you could easily blow through $200 just to grow some parsley for one season and give up entirely. And even if you do plant smart, some things just aren't worth growing at home financially. You can't compete with the economy of scale when it comes to growing peanuts. Number two, time. Even in Arizona, I can get this garden to a point where I only need to water it once a week in the middle of the summer. But that kind of hillbilly horticultural engineering took time to learn. And watering a garden once a week is still infinitely more time intensive than watering zero times a week. Number three, it's hard. Despite what my Texas public school education taught me, growing food isn't as easy as burying a seed, keeping it wet, and giving it light. And even if you do get good, it can be one of those addicting difficulties that pushes you to keep getting better and keep working harder. Maybe asking, is growing your own food worth it, is the wrong question. Is learning how to ride a bike worth it? After all, bikes are expensive. They'll probably never replace your car and you probably won't get good enough to make any money off of it. But for some reason, uh, people who fail their first attempts at plant care write themselves off as killers instead of seeing it as something to practice. But let's say you really don't think you've got it in you. If you wish you could have most of the pros without all the effort, you could just join a local CSA. You'll support farmers, you'll get items that stores can't sell, and you'll learn new recipes by getting a mystery basket every couple of weeks and pretending that you're on Chopped. To me, growing food is a matter of self-sufficiency. You might need a plumber or a tax accountant once a year, but every day, three times a day, you need a farmer. I think this is something worth knowing in case one day Mother Nature exacts her revenge on us by flooding the corn belt and boiling seawater. If you decide that growing food is something you'd like to take a little bit more control over, we'll be ready for you.